David and David here to tell you about the best cell phones of the month. And the theme of this video, should I wait to upgrade? Because over the next few months, we're going to see Google Pixel 5a, Google Pixel 6, and the entire new line of iPhones. Should they upgrade now? Maybe. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but we can give you some information. So, according to the rumors, there's nothing super exciting coming out in the next couple of months, especially in the iPhone lineup. So, if you need a new phone right now, I'd say send it. Huh? Meaning buy it. That's what the kids say these days, and I'm pretty cool. So, buy a new phone now if you need one. If you want to have the latest and greatest model, if you're gonna be disappointed or surprised when the new one comes out next month, even though it always comes out in September, hold off. But Let's talk about the best phones of the month. Yeah, so let's start with the Google Pixel 4a 5G. Right. Budget Android phone has the 5G. It was really Google's 4a into 5G. Sure was. The 6.2 inch display, two cameras, 12.2 megapixel and 16 megapixel, 128 gigabytes of storage space. Right, the previous version of the Pixel, Pixel 4, right? Had yep. 64 gigs of storage, which was not a lot. This has 128 gigs of storage and takes advantage of Google's cloud storage features, which are excellent. Yep, $499 starting price. That's a little bit too expensive for you, and you don't need the 5G, which you probably don't. Yep. Google also has the 4A. A couple differences here. That phone has a 5.8-inch display, and it only has the one camera, so a little bit of a discount, a little bit worse specs. Kind of yeah. depends on what you use your phone for. They're good phones. They're not great phones. They don't feel as good in your hand as an iPhone does, but it's a good phone. Good phone. That's why it's not number one. Next up, a little bit more of an expensive Android, the Samsung Galaxy S21. This is the one that I use when we're doing videos or taking screenshots, and it's a good phone. Yeah, it's a good phone. I don't think it feels quite as good in my hand as the S20 did, but for the price, which is $799, if you buy it outright, I think it's a really great deal. And probably the best option you have for the Android phone. Yep, so uh, quick specs for you, 6.2 inch display, three rear cameras, one 64 megapixel and two 12 megapixels. And a battery talk time of the 30 hours, pretty impressive. Yeah, that's a lot. It's enough, it gets you through a full day. Yeah, it's really the top of the line Android phone right now that right. won't burn a hole in your wallet like the, like, the Fold 2. Yeah, the Fold the, 2 for $2,000, yeah. that's not on the list. Not on this list. Sticking with the theme of should we upgrade now, the S22 isn't gonna come out until next year, so you want this phone, pull the trigger, go get it. <laughs> next up, let's talk about the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini. On our previous video, we had the iPhone 12 Pro. Not this time around, because I really think you should wait if you want the 12 Pro or the Pro Max, because if you really wanna spend a lot of money and have the top of the line phone, wait a month yeah. and get the next one. However, the 12 and the 12 mini are excellent phones. They're affordably priced. I think it's the best phone you could buy right now. Totally not worth the extra money to upgrade from the iPhone 12 to the 12 Pro, even though a lot of the specs are exactly the same. It'll be interesting to see if Apple does another mini. Yeah. I'm not sure if they will. I think that they will. You don't think so? I don't know. I love the mini. I think it's a very cool phone. So some quick specs for you. The iPhone 12, 6.1 inch display, two rear cameras, both 12 megapixels, 64, 128, and 256 gigabytes of storage space. Whereas the mini, smaller, has that 5.4 inch display, Again, the two rear cameras, same storage. Yep, same specs. So the difference between the Pro and the 12 is really the storage size, and it doesn't have the 2X zoom camera on yep. the back. Everything else is pretty much exactly the same, same processor. If money was you know, an issue for me, I mean, I would definitely buy the cheaper one. We always buy the most expensive ones because we have to write articles and review them. It's a business thing. So I think the 12 is the way to go. iOS 15 is gonna be compatible with a lot of iPhones, going back as far as the iPhone 6S. So there really isn't a need. If you want the newest iOS 15 features, you don't even need to upgrade your phone really. That's for sure. And if you just broke your phone and you're Buying a phone like sort of out of necessity, you can always just go on eBay, buy an iPhone XS for less than 400 bucks. Still has Face ID. Still has Face ID. Still it's a good phone, good it's only two years old. Yeah. yeah. Those are the best phones of the month. Leave a comment down below. Are you going to upgrade to a new phone? You gonna wait it out? You gonna buy something now? Let us know. Yeah, you gotta throw away your phone completely and go back to a landline? Let us know. Please subscribe, please join our YouTube channel. Just click that join button below to find out all the cool perks that you can get if you join. And thank you for watching.